So to make a concrete example, we're, I'm going to give you an example for how how important it is to find out if what are they using is it the asset method or liability method or expense method or income method so if you're going to see you can see the word nominal account what does that mean it's either income method or expense method so here on september 1 2018 p company receives uh eight hundred thousand nine percent for your note principal of 200k plus interest is collected every august 30 all interest collected are recorded using nominal account okay so may i ask did ikaw may nagpa-utang or ikaw yung nangutang syempre ikaw yung nangut ikaw yung nagpa-utang okay Kasi ikaw yung nag-receive ng note, so sila yung may utang sa'yo. Okay. So, kung ganito, gagawa tayo na adjusting entry at the end of the year. So, what is your adjusting entry? So, ulit. So, September 1, di ba? September 1, ang principal is 800,000, 9%. Okay. Again, Tasha. Adjusting entries at the end of the month. Diba is ang kine credit niya is nominal account. Diba? Kasi ang ginagawa niya muna is ang natatanggap niya yung cash ng interest. It is interest receivable. Tapos, interest income. Uh, interest receivable. But, tapos, interest income. Income. Okay. So, ano ali yun? Nominal. Account. Ano ulit yung focus natin pag nominal account? Ang focus natin is yung real account. So, since it's income, magkano ba yung adding real account, which is the receivable. So, kunwari is, diba? Principal is 800,000 multiplied by 9%. Multiply by the ba September nag start? September, October, November, September 1 ah. September 1 nag start. September, October, November, December. So that's 4 over 12. Magkano yan? 24k. So ito yung adjusting entry natin. It is accounts receivable 24k. Ito yung nag focus actually. The <laughs> interest receivable. Tapos dito sa interest income, it is 24k. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, then. Ito. Ano ang gagawin pagkatapos ng adjusting entries at the end of the year? Closing entry. Mandatory yun, closing entry. Ano yung closing entry? Di ba naalala yung income? You remember the income summary? So, income summary. Ika-close natin siya sa, ay, yung inco interest income. We're going to close it to the income summary. Okay. And sometimes companies don't use income summary. They use RE. Okay. But let's just do income summary. Okay. I'm going to give... I'm going to make uh, more, more room here. So, aayusin ko lang saglit. <laughs> so, yan yung kanina. Adjusting entry. It's interest receivable 24. Interest income 24. Closing. Yeah, closing entry. Interest income 24. Income summary 24. So, we're going to just focus on 
with reversing entries and without reversing entries. Ano ba yung maging reversing entries ng dalawa? Okay, actually, with or without reversing entries, pare- pare-parehas ang total income, um, interest income mo, and pare-parehas ang interest receivable mo. Pero ang tanong is, how much or what will you put in the journal entries? So this would this was the first the first year and this is the second year. What will be our journal entries in the event that on the second year there is the river uh, yeah that on the second year we will find out what's the entries if we are doing with reversing entries or without reversing entry. So Usually, with reversing entries, we are reversing entries or reversal entries are optional because it's for convenience. See, but reversing without reversing entry, it's still okay. So, pag hindi ka sanay dito, wag mo sabihin sa, sa kampanya na ay palitan nyo lahat. Kasi, Ito dapat yung masusunod. Yung company dapat yung masusunod. Yung policy dapat nila yung masusunod. So, kailangan natin malaman to. So, ano ba kasi ang reversing entries? R-E. Entries. Tagay natin dito para hindi mag... Ang reversing entries, usually yan yung kabalik tara ng adjusting entries. Ano yan? Interest income. Interest receivable. Na 24. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo, ang interest receivable, it is zero. Ang interest income, it has an abnormal balance na 24. Oo, kasi nandito siya debit. Oo. Abnormal balance na 24. Yan yung interest income. Okay. So, anong susunod? Oops. Na-erase ko. <laughs> okay. So, interest income tapos interest receivable for 24,000. By the way, bakit? Bah- why is it abnormal yung balance ng interest income? Malalaman nyo bakit? Kung bakit convenient yan. Gawin? So, pag nakakatanggap ka ng cash, so, our lago is Tawag dito. 200 plus interest is collected every August 30. Okay. So, kunyari August na. Magkano yan? 800. Times 9%. That would be 72. Diba yung pinakauna is yung 24 last year. Tapos yung 48 this year. Oo. Pero, para hindi mo siya i-allocate. Allocate. Kaya mo ito ginawa. Reversing entries. Or reversal entries. Yeah. <laughs> And, kasi may abnormal balance ang interest income. So, ganito siya. Cash. Magkano yung cash? Yung 200, di ba? Na principal. Plus yung 72. Yan yung 800 times 9%. Magkano yun? 272. Okay. Tapos, interest income, i-diretsyo mo na siya. Hindi mo na siya kailangan. I- ah, sorry. It's not 24. It is 72. Hindi <laughs> ko nga siya yan. yan. It is 72. Yan. Tapos, syempre, note. Receivable na 200. Okay. So, mas papaliitin ko siya para mas magka siya. So, yan siya. Cash, 272. Interest income, 72. NR. So, as of August 30, magkano ang interest income natin? Since may abnormal balance siyang 24 dahil sa dahil sa reversing entries. And then, we're going to add 72 yung nakolekta natin. So, 48. Which is tama. Kasi yung 24 yun sa last year. 
248, tama pa rin ang balance ng interest income. So, yan yung convenience ng pagkakaroon ng reversing entries. Yan. So, syempre, yan yung from, yan yung August 30, we still have to recognize interest income at the end of the year. So, we're going to yeah, do that. Interest income, interest Sorry, interest receivable, interest income, how much? So, hindi na 800 yung principal, 600 na siya. Times 9%, times ilang months ulit yun. So, September, October, November, December, 4, 4 over 12. Okay, compute na natin. Kailangan natin yung calculator, syempre. <laughs> 600 times 9%. Times 4 over 12. Okay, so 18 siya. 18. 18. Okay, so... Yan na. Ito na, ito na. Yan. Oops, okay. Okay. So, yan yung sa second year. I-compute natin kung magkano yung interest income na na-record mo. Interest income is negative 24. Yun yung bal negative balance. Plus 72. Yun yung na-receive mo, yung 800 times 9%. Okay. Tapos yung 18. Plus 18. Magkano lahat ng interest income? So, negative 24. Plus 72. Plus 18. And yung 66. 66. Ayan. Lagyan natin dito sa side dito ah. Interest. Income. 66. Oo. Kailangan natin yan mamaya. Okay. Next. Magkano ang interest receivable? Siyempre 18. Interest. Interest receivable, 18. Yun yun, no? Oo, bakit, bakit to? Anong ginawa mo dito? Yun yun. Kasi last year, di ba? 24. Tapos ni reversal entry, so magiging 0 na siya. So, parang 24. Minus yung ni reversal entry natin na 0. Uh, na 24. So, plus 18. Equals 18. Yan. Yan. Yung kagandahan ng reversal entries. Okay. Next, dito na tayo sa without reversal. <laughs> reversing entries. Okay. Without reversing entries, kung makikita nyo. Ito yung ginawa natin. Interest receivable. Eh. And interest income na 24, closing entries, i-close natin sa income summary. So, pag without reversing entries, ang interest receivable pa rin natin is 24. Oh, kasi siya lang yung mag-stay sa balance sheet. So, ano yung maging una natin since wala na siyang reversal entries, yung cash collection na siya. Ganun pa rin, cash. Kagayahin lang natin to actually. Cash. 272 interest income 72 notes note receivable 200 dito na tayo sa susunod okay so magkano ba talaga dapat ang interest receivable natin at the end 18 magkano ang dapat na interest income natin 16 so tandaan Magkano to? 72. Magkano dapat? 66. So, babawasan natin yung interest income. Magkano? 72 minus 6. 6. 11. Next, mag-set up tayo ng... Diba dapat ang interest receivable niya? 66. Eh, last year, 24. So, nasa obrahan. So, babawasan natin yung so, 24. Interest receivable, diba? 
ang naka-record sa balance sheet is 24 dahil hindi natin kinorekt yung, ay hindi natin universal entry siya. So, 24 minus yung dapat na 16, I mean, 18, ito yun. <laughs> 18, yun, 11 pa rin. So, at the end of the year, kung i-co-compute mo ang interest income, 66 pa rin siya. Ano yun? 72 minus 11. Ang interest revenue, magano? 18. Magano yun? 18. Bakit 18? Kasi 24. Yung sa last year. Tapos, minus mo ng 11. 18. So, nakikita nyo dito is whether reversal reversing entries or without reversing entries. Pares pa rin, ang income is 66 ang income uh, ang interest income, it is 66 ang interest receivable 18. So, depende lang kung anong method yung ginamit mo. Yun lang!